I had a bit of a, a problem with, uh, well, I, and I, I think uh, some other critics uh, may well have shared my the, the same opinion, but um, I also had a bit of a problem with the uh, AI in Bioshock. You know, uh, the, the splicers are actually, uh, well, they behave fairly stupidly. So it's it's fairly easy to just just uh, run back a couple of steps and uh, dodge, say, a spider splicer uh, uh, sl uh, who's, who's slashing at you. Another thing, yeah, um, mm. say, I often find that it's 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 too easy to to pick off splicers with a with a shotgun, and also you know uh, I I need to save. Well, I don't need to save ammo, um, but I prefer to just just to maintain what little you know survival horror feel there 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 should have been. But um, I'll usually go after them with a with a with a wrench, and it, it's 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 satisfying, but quite uh, but quite easy. Um, they really can't, well, can't do much damage. Another thing that kind of bugged me about the, the, about the NPCs in Bioshock was the voice acting. Say, I, I know uh, it, it would be very hard to avoid uh, speech in a game being repeated for however long you might, however, however long you play the game. Say, if you're, if you're going to play the game for long enough and you meet the same character models, then you will hear the hear those characters saying something twice. But I got sick of hearing, you know, the, these splicers who sounded drunk or or, uh, or dazed, you know, uttering, you know, you know, Jesus loves me, this I know. I kept I heard that multiple mm. times throughout Rapture. Um, I. I that was a that was a touch that that I found a bit contrived. You know, the the, the rest of the splicer des, uh, uh, splicer mm. design uh, was well realized. You know, um, of course, you first confront uh, normal splicers, then leadhead splicers that are harder to kill. Then you get uh, nitro splicers with grenades, um, spider splicers that crawl on the wall and throw somehow regenerating hooks. And then you got teleporting Houdini mm. splicers. So, yeah, uh, the difficulty, there isn't much difficulty, but um, the, the, I guess a better word would be threat. Uh, the, the threat posed by the splicers escalates as you play the game. That, that, was, that was well done. Um, and, mm. of course, you, you know, uh, these splicers are victims of plasmid abuse. You know that they, uh, um, you know, they use plasmids to gain, you know, these magical powers, you know, shooting fire and ice and so on, uh, or to uh, uh, keep themselves beautiful. But uh, as a consequence, they they broke out in sores and cuts and uh, various deformities from using, abusing these plasmids. So. Most like like Rapture itself, I, th I think the enemy designs were very good, but the voice acting was very contrived, at least in the splicers. Found them kind of funny, which I shouldn't have. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Bi Bioshock isn't by far the first game to ever have enemies that say the same lines over and over again. I, I don't think that really makes the game bad. It just makes it kind of average. Um, yeah. I, I found it kind of weird how uh, the the enemies you face get progressively more powerful. Like you start off with uh, uh, lead head splices that just hit you with stuff then, mm -hmm. or I, I forget, uh, not, uh, nitro splices with the grenades. And I'm thinking... If you're able to go up to uh, like a, a vending machine and uh, buy weapons, ammo, uh, get the ability to shoot lightning and fire, why why doesn't ev every single inhabitant of this entire place have that? What why why are some just resorting to lead pipes? Why? It, yeah. And for that matter, um, Rapture was built to house gene. Uh, geniuses 
to do basically what they wanted to do. Mm. And you, you meet people like uh, Sander Cohen and Tenenbaum. And uh, with, with Sander Cohen, wh- uh, why is he, well, he's not necessarily sane, but he is fairly uh, articulate I mean, and yeah. literate, and he's not charging at you and trying to kill you for no real reason. Mm. And uh, when when he comes down, uh, after you've collected all the bodies and taken pictures of them and put them on the on the sculpture thing, he comes down. And if you if you just watch him come down, then he uh, says good job and gives you the thing. But if you actually hit him, he disappears like a Houdini splicer. So wow. he himself has taken uh, plasmas uh, like that. So what what makes him uh, somehow superior? To, ev- to everybody else. Yeah, and on that note, uh, what makes what makes you, uh, w- what makes your play- character, play- you know, your player character uh, resistant to you know the the uh, uh, the effects of plasmids, the side effects of plasmids. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you, you make a good mm. point there. So, mm, say, exactly. Yeah. Um, I guess the game feels a little self conscious in that. Uh, you are so much more powerful than anything else in Rapture. When really you're 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 just another human. You you might have been you might only be two years old. You may you may have only been, you know, artificially aged and, and given a strong physique by, by Dr. Suchong, but um, you're just another person. So yeah. another, th- another thing, um and if we could perhaps uh uh, move more toward the story of Bioshock. Say, mm. I, yeah. I, I did, I did find it very intriguing. Say, or more the more the premise of Bioshock than how it actually worked out. Say, Rapture was conceived. Uh, say, for any of you viewers who who don't know, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Rapture was conceived by uh, the industrialist Andrew Ryan as essentially uh, an individualist utopia. And uh, I, I believe uh, uh, Ryan was inspired by the philosophy of uh, Anne Rand. And uh, uh, I may have pronounced that wrong, but um, so, 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 yeah, don't... No, I may have gotten that wrong, gotten the name wrong, but anyway. Um, I guess... Yeah, Rapture was was designed as a haven for the individual, um, you know, where the individual could uh, could, as you said, do whatever he wanted. But you know, it, it would be a place of complete freedom for the artist, the scientist, and the uh, common working man. But the way I saw it, say uh, uh, Ryan's vision of a completely free state um, was essentially too free, and I, I might get some some uh, you know some liberals a bit angry with that statement. But um, the, the way I see it, say uh, freedom is our right. But if you if you have freedom with no boundaries, then w- with no boundaries at all, say no order then uh, freedom becomes anarchy. And I, I thought that, say, um, you know, you know uh, if you install a new plasmid uh, from those vending machines, um, you, get, you get these cheery animations which inform you of what you can do with these plasmids. You know, you know laugh as your enemies bounce off the walls. It, th- these advertisements, I, I think they, they speak for the rest of Rapture and... and and the tendency of every person you meet to 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 go out and, and kill every well and to lash out and kill everyone, you know, um, say every every bit of rapture down to its industries, you know, plasmid industries caters to the individual and what the individual wants. Say, if you want to kill someone with sonic boom, we'll let we'll allow you to because that's what you want as an individual. So. I think Rapture did effectively just show how, you know, how 
yeah, you know, I, I suppose the the flaws or not not flaws, but the, but the the bad consequences of uh, of too much freedom, so to speak. So I, I think I, I think it did succeed very well in that way.